everybody welcome back we are getting ready to do some more acrylic pouring I've already put the white base down and if anybody recalls one of my first ones I ever tried was an American flag well we're gonna try that again an American flag swipe should be a little clearer on that let me go ahead and my apron on in between this one and the last one I ran over to dad's and he was saying how I have a handprint on the back of my shirt and at first I didn't know what he was talking about and I was like oh it's probably paint <laughs> which is why we wear an old shirt so we're gonna do a swipe let's go ahead and pop bubbles there we go. We've got some bubbles that don't want to pop. There we go. Now they're popping. All right. So, we're going to start with pouring the red. I'm not trying to get it perfect, but I want it to at least be accurate. So we're going to try for, ooh, it's a wavy flag. We're going to try for 13 lines, which means, let's see, I believe it starts and ends with red. I should have a picture of the flag in front of me. Whoops, that's all right. It's a swipe. We're not going to worry too much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I need to do two more. This is a war battled flag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right. Now for our blue background. Okay. And now we're ready for the swipe part. I do want to put some silicone in this. Now that my, uh, for, at least for this batch of colors, the glue is glue all. So, um, for the pouring medium, so I feel a little bit better about doing silicone and the color staying when I go to clean. I don't know what JoJo was hollering about. She's been doing it all day and driving me nuts. One, two, three. Oh, 
It does not take very much silicone. I don't want to mix it very much. Let me get it off my fingers and get me a swath. Not a swath, but a place to put to wipe my swiper off with. I usually take too much paint off. So hopefully I don't screw this up too much. Okay, let's see how we do with this, y'all. Ah, it didn't work the way I wanted it to. I don't think I had enough white, so we're going to do more white. Part of the problem is it seems the paints are a bit uneven, which is not good. Okay, let's see if we can do this a little more evenly. Well, the blue spread more than I intended. I knew it spread some, but I didn't think it would go the whole length. I've got a lump right there. I'm afraid if I mess with things, I'll make it worse. Where's my tweezers? There's a big lump. <laughs> Don't know what caused it. Okay. I'm going to move that white off a little bit. Maybe. I'm trying not to tilt it one way or the other because I don't want to cause waves. But I am going to get a little bit because that's not spreading evenly there. I 
I think we will leave it at that. Just trying to think of how I wanted to do that. I'm going to move this back around this way. I did tape off the back with frog, um, frog tape. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that because I think I'll mess it up more if I mess with it any further. As it's developing, I'm liking it more. So I'm actually liking this. Even though the blue came all the way out, um, the red is still popping through and the white. So I think it still works. And next time, if I try this again, I'll stick to just blue, probably this little corner here. And maybe it won't go all the way to the end that way. I'm liking this. Let me bring you all in for a close up. We're going to start on this corner of the flag this time. Look at the lacing and cells. I think it really works. The blue and the red are metallic blue and metallic red, which helps with the interaction. Isn't that awesome? There, got you all in frame. Here's a dry picture. Thank you all for joining me on this one. Let me know if the blue going all the way across destroys it for you as far as being the American flag or if it works. See you guys next time. Bye.